waffle time. <laughs> Actually, these have been really helping. Hey peeps, welcome back to the sewing room. It is Wednesday. I took yesterday off because I realized that if I didn't take yesterday off, then I would be working every day this week and a day off every now and again is nice. So I took yesterday off, it was very good. I am down here because, and it's very late in the day, I think it's seven o'clock, but it's light outside so that doesn't really matter. But I'm down here this late because mum's been down here all day sewing. She is making a silk shirt. She's definitely got the sewing garment sewing bug back. She's got two nine, 209 9029 Vogue shirts under her belt so she felt confident enough to cut out her silk unfortunately there were too many pieces of that pattern for the silk that she's got so she is making a Melly Low shirt and it's going to be beautiful I will try and show you a close-up of that fabric now look at the beautiful silk this is from Stitch Fabrics and mum also has the larger scale linen back there which makes me think, because it does say it's an Italian fabric on its selvage, makes me think this could be a DNG print. It is beautiful. The other thing I need to do is, it's actually mum's birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday mum when you're watching this, because you guys will be seeing this on the Thursday. So James, dad and I have gone all in so we could get her a number of presents that we think, <laughs> think that she'll like. One of them we ordered from Australia without realising that it's coming from Australia and it's not going to be here on time. <laughs> so I won't tell you what that one is because I'm going to leave the surprise for when it arrives but I will show you when it arrives. But the other one is these Hoffman fabrics from So Hot. So they were doing a bundle of nine fat quarters for £40 which actually makes them more expensive than if you bought them individually which I thought was a bit odd. That was out of stock which is kind of good because some of the colours in that are beautiful but not mum. So we have gone for like the deep blue, the royal blue, the emerald green, the turquoise and then this is probably the one that's least mum but I still think she'll like it. It is this kind of pink turquoisey gold looking fabric. Rather than get her a quarter of a fat quarter of each of the colourways because as I say there are I think nine or ten colourways we have gone for half meter of each of these because I think they're going to be really good for mum's quilt making stash. I mean I appreciate that is already quite large. but you can never have too, many, too much fabric as we all know. And these are just so, so beautiful. This will also work really well for bag linings and this is how I discovered these. I think it was Rachel was asking what to use for a bag lining and I just said Fairy Frost is my favorite, but Fairy Frost seems to be very few and far between at the moment. I kind of stumbled across these on the So Hot website. As I say, they're a Hoffman fabric. I love all the Hoffman prints. They are gorgeous, very expensive, but beautiful. So gonna wrap these up. I've got some cards as well. I've got some kitty cards because this is coming from my stash but aren't they beautiful? I'm gonna have to ask mum to not get rid of these after we've after they've been on display for a little while because I think I might want to frame them and put them up in here because they are just so pretty. So I'm gonna get mine and James's card written and then one of those is for dad as well and I think I'm going to wrap these up into little individual parcels given that the main present is still somewhere uh, in transit. I think it's a really cool present though, I think she's really going to like it, so yeah. I am thinking that I'm going to try and get the sleeves done on the 9076 today. Loads of you guys weighed in on what I should do with this 60 centimetre piece of fabric and the majority of you think bias binding, which I'm kind of leaning towards myself. I think when I started, because I started measuring it up to cut it out as bias binding and it was just like, oh this is too big a piece, this could be something. I did like the Ogden cami out of the ones when it was tucked in to a skirt, but I also really like pretty bias binding and I do have a lot of turquoise stuff back here that I could use that bias binding in so I think I think you guys are right. I think bias binding is the way forward. So yeah, I'm going to get that done this afternoon as well. Then mum and I are going out tomorrow. We're going to go out a little bit early. We're going to go and do some bits and pieces in town, have some lunch. Then we're going to go and see Downton Abbey at the cinema. Then it's got book club here tomorrow and they're doing a fish supper for everybody. As in they're going to the local fish and chip shop and bringing fish supper back for everybody. 
we've got some of the cupcakes that I had delivered for mum for Mother's Day being delivered in the morning. Then one of the people that are coming to the party in the, or the book club party in the evening are bringing a giant cake as well. Yeah, it's going to be a really lovely day tomorrow. Very much looking forward to it. But I thought, like I say, I ought to come down and do a few bits and pieces down here whilst mum is not in here <laughs> so that I can do it in secret. I'd completely forgotten where I'd stashed these and then she was down earlier and I was just like, oh my gosh, you didn't see the thing that I stashed. You didn't move something that you shouldn't have seen, did you? And she's like, I haven't touched anything. I was like, that's good. I secretly squirreled it away somewhere sensible. <laughs> my birthday present has arrived from James and Nia. Has been through the wash. It is three meters of this viscose from Textile Express. Rust with large white polka dots on it. Very pretty woman. I want to make a top and a skirt out of it. This will work with Savannah really well, I think. I think in either, you know, in skirt or top form. And then I also think it's going to work really well with the Anaconda Antithesis print which is this kind of bluey with brown at the top there. I think it's gonna work really nicely in with that. Mum has agreed, we bought the wool. Mum's agreed to knit me this jumper to go with that collection. And I think I bought wool that's pretty much that color as well from the Stitching Elmers. I bought quite a lot of wool from the Stitching Elmers. So yeah, that was my birthday present from James and Nia. So thank you very much. It was very much appreciated. Still waiting for the remnant sale on Lady McElroy so I can spend my voucher from Charlotte but I will show you guys what I get with that when I do it. So I'm going to turn you off for a second, get these wrapped, get the cards written and then maybe work on some sleeves. We shall see. A few moments later. Presents are wrapped. Uh, I think once the first one's open it's going to be pretty clear what the remaining ones are but fingers crossed mum enjoys those. I think she will. I was talking about how I thought this fabric would go with both Anaconda Antithesis and Savannah and I thought I'd get them out to see if I was even a little bit right. So this is the and Anaconda Antithesis print on the buttermilk background. It came on a blue background, which I do have some of on the drill and the crepe. It came on a sage background, which is really difficult to find now. I really hope they release this on viscose, but I don't think they will because the Cobra Corsage print is so, so famous from them. I'm not sure how well this one's done, but my theory is that and this will go with the blue as well because this does have a lot of browns in it and it kind of picks up on the browns in these ones but my theory is that these two together obviously with a belt to break it up and give it a little bit of definition but a skirt in this and a top in this I think would look really nice together and again it will look nice with the blue version as well and here we've got Savannah and again that with that because I think I could be very wrong here, but I think one of the principles of, of print clashing is the different scale of print. So you want a, I would say this is medium, and then this is a large, and I think they work together. I think two super large different prints can look very clashing and jarring together. I, the Monday, uh, on Monday I was wearing my ditzy floral 9076 dress with my Mulberry Cobra Corsage skirt, and that was kind of a happy, happy accident that I put those together. They have the same base colour, the Mulberry colour, because the Cobra Corsage is such a giant print, and because the ditzy floral is so small, I think they work really well together. I do think this is a medium scale print, and then this is obviously a large, but I still, and the same with the Anaconda into this. I still think that that works and I think that I've said this before when I did the whole Savannah capsule collection video which is up here I would find it really difficult to pair leafs leaf prints together I think there are things in here that will go together but I'm not sure that my brain will kind of immediately go there unless they're happy happy accident that they're next to each other on the rack back there when I'm come to film it or I'm making it but I think when you have like a large scale print like savannah or foliage canopy or anaconda antithesis something like that i think that polka dots ginghams and stripes work really and obviously solids but work really well with those large prints because whilst they're still a print they're not as in your face a print as the all over pattern is at least that's my theory you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below would you wear these two together <laughs> let me know inquiring minds want to know here's a thumbnail if ever i saw one i think they do and again when you get dressed 
like there are no rules you wear what you makes you happy and i think somebody that feels confident in their outfit is going to just look good because they look confident. As I've said many, many times before, there are so many different things out there that I see on other people and it looks amazing on them, but I would never wear that because it's just not my taste or my style or the aesthetic that I like, or, you know, I would feel self-conscious and uncomfortable in it. But I have definitely kind of, I think, narrowed down the sort of thing that I like, which is kind of a cross between 50s style big poofy skirts and 70s kind of boho frills which kind of surprises me I've never thought I was a frill girl but my 7537s I love the frills on those I think it's I think I've kind of narrowed down my style and the times that I get it wrong the times that when I make things that I don't love very much on me are usually when I'm trying to copy somebody else's style and not stick true to the things that I know and I love and have identified that make me feel happy and I think that is the most important thing is that you feel confident and happy in your clothes because it will just make you look confident and happy to the rest of the world at least that's my thought process and my opinion be really interested to hear what you guys think in the comments down below I don't think I'm going to get to sleeves today. I think I'm going to try and do some sleeves tomorrow evening when book club are having their book cl clubby decisions, which means that I am not going to have a video out on Friday. It's going to be on Saturday. Never mind. I will try and do the Friday video next week. I'm, I'm working to my old schedule, trying to do a new schedule, but kind of having it in my head that I'm going to do the old... The, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We shall experiment with the algorithm because this month has been a bit of a and up and down with the, with the scheduling system anyway. That's it for today, which is a lot of me just sitting and chatting at you, so I'm sorry about that, but it, you know, the clues in the title, it does say waffle. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed the waffle. Hopefully there will be a proper reveal video for you of the 9076 on Saturday. I am excited about that dress. I do think it's gonna be nice. Let's hope it is, because otherwise I'm just gonna make a skirt out of that bit there and put a waistband on it because I have enough of fabric to do that. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling at you. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed my day and I will see you all very soon. Bye!